villain will pull easily by placing water or ice blocks diagonally. Survive explosive damage from TNT and creepers by blocking with your sword. Blaze rods can be used to smelt 12 items, making a very efficient renewable fuel resource. Fish during rain for higher chances of catching fish. Sprinting and jumping make you go faster. When exploring or mining, have the debug screen on at all times, so if you die, you can write down the cords and find your items again. Gold tools mine faster than diamond, but break faster than wood. Always add either glowstone or redstone to your potions. Leaving it neutral is not beneficial. Take no falling damage by falling into water. Also, slime balls let you bounce. Get rid of lava pools by dropping sand or gravel in it. The poison effect does not kill you, it only takes you down to half a heart. Die sheep then shear them for more wool. Dying the wool in the crafting table is inefficient. Eating raw chicken has a 30% chance to give you the hunger effect. Press the up and down keys while in chat to scroll through messages you just said. Negate slime bug bouncing by holding down the shift bar while you fall. Left click and drag an item in a container to spread the item into equal portions. Right click and drag to spread it into singulars. Signs, fences, iron bars, ladders, trap doors, fence gates, and pressure plates can all stop water flow. Drinking milk removes all potion effects. Placing doors backwards stops zombies from breaking them. Place a torch right in front of a spider to temporarily make them passive. This will not work if you hit them. Zombie pigmen will be mad at you until they are killed or despawned. Kill a creeper fast by hitting it three times with an iron sword or better. It will die before it explodes. Reset a creeper's fuse by losing its line of sight to you. Giving mobs a name tag will prevent them from ever despawning. Hostile mobs will despawn if you go into peaceful mode regardless. You can build an infinite snowball generator by encasing a snow golem. Pigs, cows, and chickens drop cooked meat when killed by fire, lava, or a fire enchantment. Endermen take damage from water and rain. Use this to your advantage. Kill endermen easily by putting a roof directly on top of your head. Endermen can only pick up dirt, sand, gravel, clay, potzel, cacti, pumpkins, melons, TNT, mycelium, and flowers. Endermen will not attack you if you look at them with a pumpkin on your head. Use F1 or F5 mode to see easier. Explosions do not blow blocks if the source is right in lava or water. Wolves can be bred and fed with rotten flesh. Creepers on slabs only blow up the slab underneath them. Mobs can be grabbed and flung with fishing rods. Guests can only blow up blocks with a block resistance of 20.17. You can hit gas fireballs back at them. Slimes cannot swim. Ocelots and cats scare creepers away. Silverfish go inside blocks. When they do, the block becomes a special version of that block, which can be broken with your fist. Mobs, items, and other entities can be transported through nether and end portals. There's a 1% chance of a spider spawning as a spider jockey. Zombie pigmen can come out of your overworld nether portal. Endermen dodge arrows, snowballs, and any other projectiles. When a creeper kills a skeleton, it will drop one of the 13 music discs. Easily do this by hitting the creeper three times with a stone sword, and then let the skeleton do the final blow. Mobs who are four blocks in the air and have no adjacent blocks will stay stationary. Harming potions here Heal zombies and skeletons, but healing potions damage them. Gravel, mobs, items, and other entities fall very slow when going through cobwebs. Alternate between regular and trap chests to make a wall of chests for compact storage. Use silk touch tools to gather glowstone in the nether instead of a fortune pool, as fortune only yields 1 to 3 glowstone dust. Make infinite water sources by filling a 2x2 hole with just 2 buckets of water. This does not work with lava. Create a life-saving temporary air bubble underwater by placing a torch right in front of your face. You can jump over fences if you put a carpet on top of it. Ice under soul sand makes movement incredibly slow. Ice only turns into water if there's a block underneath it. Build walls fast and efficient by placing two blocks downwards while standing on top. You can also build by threes if you aim at the bottom block like this. Edit individual lines on a sign with the arrow keys. Fix water imperfections by placing blocks underneath it. Sugar cane grow at equal rates on dirt and sand. Lava flows faster and farther in the nether than in the overworld. Pumpkins can only be placed on top of blocks. The fortune enchantment works on coal, diamond, emerald, lapis lazuli, redstone, quartz ore, carrots, potatoes, wheat, netherwort, melons, tall grass, and gravel with their respective tools. Note blocks make different sounds when on certain blocks. Wood makes a bass sound. Sand, gravel, and soul sand make a drum. Glowstone and glass make a click sound. Stone-based blocks make a bass drum. And air and dirt make a piano sound. Smelt netherrack to make nether bricks, which can be used to make nether brick blocks. Mycelium spreads to dirt, not grass. Daylight sensors can be used as slab lights if you put glowstone underneath cobblestone walls. To dig down safely, mine down in a 2x1 formation and stand in between the two blocks. Using a fortune pick while you mine makes your trips shorter due to the inventory filling up faster. Instead, mine coal, lapis, redstone, emerald, and diamond ore with a silk touch pick, then fortune them at your base. Another benefit to bringing a silk touch pick is that you can bring an ender chest for increased storage and longer mining trips. Mine four diamonds at level 12 for best results. When digging up in a 1x1, place a torch below you to prevent gravel from falling on you. Water buckets are quite useful when mining. Mining quartz in the nether is a great way to get quick XP. When finding ore, always mine the stone around it as there is likely more that you are not seeing. Press F3 and H to toggle item data values and damage values. Shears with silk touch can pick up cobwebs. Solid blocks on top of chests prevent the chest from being opened. 
It also stops hoppers from draining the contents of a chest. If you are getting too much XP in a cluster and are worried about wasting it, Ender Pearl away and it will leave the XP behind. When ice melts, it stays stationary. It flows when a block update happens next to it, meaning a block is placed or broken right next to it. Splash potions thrown at your feet do not give you the full effect. Throw it above you and let it hit you in the head for best results. Type slash seed in your single player world to get your world seed. Water will flow in a 5 block radius to the nearest hole or drop off. TNT will fall 77 blocks before exploding. Day and night cycles are each 10 minutes long. When killing a cluster of mobs with splash potions, as soon as you throw the potion, quickly switch to a sword with looting on it, and it will double the drops with no damage to the sword. Apples have a 1 in 20, or a 0.5% chance, to drop when a leaf block decays or is destroyed. Water flowing into a lava source block creates obsidian. Flowing lava hitting flowing water creates cobblestone. Flowing lava hitting a water source block creates stone. It takes 10 minutes and 40 seconds to smelt 64 items in a furnace. Fortune 3 on shovels give a 100% chance of gravel dropping flint, but no gravel. Falling 22 blocks will kill you, 21 will not. Your armor does not protect against the following, it also does not damage the armor. Ongoing fire, suffocating inside a block, drowning, starvation, poisoning, instant damage potion, wither effect, fall damage, breaking blocks with the wrong tool does not damage the tool two times instead of one. Stores break melon blocks the fastest. Triggering TNT yourself will attach your name to the action, meaning the explosion will cause mobs to drop XP. Make high speed tunnels by putting ice under slabs and having a two block high tunnel. Sprints and jumping will make you go very, very fast. You can make one-way doors by putting soul sand outside doors. The side with the soul sand will not let players in. Always begin a brewing process with netherwort as the first ingredient. Organize chests by placing one item in all the slots so you cannot accidentally put the wrong item in that chest. Shift-click the creative delete button to clear your entire inventory. You can enter pearl through glass like this. Spamming ender pearls at a one block thick floor above you can glitch you up into it. Get on top of the nether's bedrock by spamming ender pearls at it. Hover over an item and press a number key to put that item in the hotbar, and right clicking with the armor puts it on you. There's no need to make a clock or compass, just put the ingredients into a crafting table and look at it. Press control and your drop key to drop the entire stack. Do not sleep in the nether. Place signs and doors and walls and put a painting over it to make a secret room. Silk Touch does not let you pick up spawners. Pick up the dragon egg by dropping it onto a torch. Make interesting designs and carpet by placing signs in a hole and a wool carpet on top of it. Make a door that only allows players to enter by placing a slab on the bottom and a slab on top. You can place signs onto each other, but if you break the first sign, they will all break. Shooting TNT with a flame bow will ignite the TNT. 